were happy to hear that Tina Knowles found love again after her disastrous marriage to Matthew Knowles. But sadly, sources are reporting that she and her new husband, actor Richard Lawson, have quietly separated. We dedicated a video to their love story back in 2021, and we can't believe we ignored all the glaring red flags in their relationship. Before Solange busses us upside the head for being in her mama's business, don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of lemon pepper beef jerky, chicken and waffles popcorn, and green apple licorice. Tina married Matthew in 1980, and by 1981, she was pregnant with Beyonce. A very pregnant Tina went to visit her best friend, Gwen. Gwen's brother, Richard, stopped by and was completely mesmerized by Tina. In an Instagram post, Richard wrote he thought Tina was the most beautiful woman he had ever met. Now hold up, we know some men are attracted to pregnant women, and that's fine and all, but Richard was attracted to a married pregnant woman. Oh yeah, and did we mention that he was married as well? By that point, he had been married to Denise Gordy, the niece of Motown founder Barry Gordy, for three years. They also had a two-year-old daughter named Bianca. In Richard's defense, he stated that he knew he couldn't take his attraction to Tina any further, so he pulled a Blair Underwood and decided to keep her as just a friend. <laughs> If you have no idea why we just referenced Blair Underwood, be sure to click the link to our Blair video in the description box after we wrap things up here. Now, not only did they decide to remain friends, but Richard continued to admire Tina from a distance. He was friends with Matthew too. He was friends with Matthew too. Mm. Mm -mm. Tina gave birth to Beyonce in September 1981, and Solange entered the world in June 1986. In our Beyonce and Jay-Z red flag video, we detailed all the drama that went down between Tina and Matthew. An insider described their marriage as a business arrangement, and the couple broke up and reconciled a few times throughout the years. Matthew left his corporate job and started managing Destiny's Cheerin' full-time, which left Tina as the breadwinner. She worked long hours at her hair salon, and the financial strain drove a wedge between them. In a book called Becoming Beyonce, which we've linked for you in the description box, the author claimed Matthew got caught up in a web of narcotics and freak nasty intimate acts with people other than Miss Tina. Ruh -roh. But was Matthew the only one stepping out? Not exactly. Well, that is if you believe a man named David Lee Brewer Jr., who claims to be Beyonce's childhood vocal coach. In his book, which we've linked for you down below, David claimed there was infidelity on both sides. And get this, he alleged that Richard was blowing Tina's back out when she was still married to Matthew. Of course, we're unable to confirm this allegation. Richard and Denise went their separate ways in 1989 after 11 years of marriage. In 1992, he welcomed a son named Ricky with a woman named Rochelle, making him a father of two children by two women. Meanwhile, Tina and Matthew finally put themselves out of their misery when Tina filed for divorce in November 2009. But a year later, she said, psych! <laughs> and the divorce was called off. They finally went through with severing ties, and their divorce was officially finalized in November 2011. Despite Matthew wilding out in them streets and getting two women pregnant while they were still married, Tina told HuffPost her feelings were a little hurt when he married a woman named Gina Avery just two years after their divorce was finalized. And even though he put her through hell, she still considered him family. Hmm. Did Tina want that old thing back? Her best friend Gwen passed away, and Tina remained in contact with Richard. According to Tina, she and Richard reconnected after her divorce was finalized. They were both single, and of course, Richard was interested. During a public speech, Tina recounted how one of her friends asked Richard if he knew of any men who would be interested in dating Tina. Richard asked Tina what kind of man she was looking for, and Tina told him she wanted someone with integrity, someone who believed in God, and someone that liked to dance. That's when Richard asked, what about me? And we both said, hell no. <laughs> So, despite Richard being attracted to her for three decades, three 
Day kids. The feeling wasn't mutual. Was Tina's gut trying to tell her something? Hmm. Tina explained at the Essence Empowerment Experience that she didn't think Richard was the right guy for her because there were a lot of other women who were interested in him. Uh-oh. So was Richard slanging that thing all around town? Or did he just have a lot of platonic friendships with women who were craving for a chance to ride his meat whistle? We're unsure. But either way, Tina said it was something she just didn't want to deal with. We don't blame her, especially with all that went down during her first marriage. But Richard was persistent. He had waited so long to have a chance with her and he wasn't about to give up. The very next day, he took Tina and her friend dancing. And the day after that, he and Tina went out for lunch. They began spending more and more time together and things turned freaky deaky. They became an item sometime around the summer of 2013. In September 2014, while celebrating Beyonce's birthday, Blue Ivy asked them, Oh, y'all look beautiful. When are y'all getting married? Now, keep in mind, Blue was about two and a half at the time. Richard answered, Oh, Blue, soon. Do you approve? And Blue said yes. They went on the record to say they hadn't even discussed the idea of marriage until a toddler brought it up. <laughs> they became husband and wife in April 2015. For unknown reasons, she hyphenated her professional name as Tina Knowles Lawson. Besties, should she have dropped the Knowles out of respect for her new husband? Leave your answer down below. So anyway, they immediately began to blend their families. They co-own a theater center for children and an acting studio in Los Angeles. Richard's son, Ricky, works in the A&R department of Beyonce's Parkwood Management Company. They were arm and arm at every event, and they frequently went on couples trips with other Hollywood A-listers. They were so in love and were so happy that they'd get to spend the rest of their lives together. In an Instagram post, Richard wrote that his attraction toward her has never wavered. He also described her as a, quote, hot, sexy, ratchet god warrior. Now, we ain't ones to gossip, but we had an inkling that there was something fishy going on between Tina and Richard for a while. Let us explain. In October 2018, Tina and Richard appeared on OWN's Black Love series. Tina shared how she was afraid to love again, but she prayed for the type of man she wanted. She sat there and said she was a bad man, Magella, and a great person, and she deserved to be with someone because she was a great woman. Then she said Richard had a lot of the qualities that she wanted, but he wasn't perfect. Perfect, absolutely not. But, you know, no. he has a lot of the qualities. No, no. he has a lot of the qualities that, uh, that I love and we're having a really good time. Now, though. we know that no one is perfect, but the way she said it and how she doubled down on the statement when he questioned her made the rest of the interview a bit awkward. Richard can be seen tensing up and his face looked visibly upset. Social media had a field day with the footage. Some people called Tina out for being disrespectful and for embarrassing her poor husband. And then came 2019. Matthew had stage 1A breast cancer. Matthew told People Magazine as soon as he found out, the first person he called was his ex-wife, Tina. We mentioned that Beyonce fired him as her manager after Live Nation told her that he was potentially stealing money from her. Matthew's relationship with his daughters was strained for a bit, but we noticed that within the past five years or so, Matthew was back in the mix heavy. Then in January 2023, he was in Dubai to watch Beyonce's performance at the Atlantis Resort. And get this, fans spotted him grabbing a bite to eat with Tina. Yeah and there was no Richard in sight. As of this video, Tina and Richard went from being glued to each other's sides to being noticeably absent from each other's lives. Her last Instagram post with Richard was shared in March 2023. Richard clearly wasn't invited to attend Jay-Z's mom's wedding in July 2023. And that same month, Richard showed up to the screening of his new film, Black Terror, without Tina. His wedding band was also gone with the wind. According to Madame Noir website, he also didn't mention Tina in his thank yous. Tina has dropped Richard's last name from her Instagram profile, although her account handle is still Miss Tina Lawson. 
We anticipate that after separating their finances and reaching a settlement, they'll publicly announce that they'll be ending their marriage after eight years. And don't be surprised if they announce their breakup on a Friday afternoon. Why a Friday afternoon, you ask? Well, older celebrities still live by this old-school PR tactic. They typically announce breakups and other salacious news late in the day on a Friday in hopes that the public and media outlets will forget about it over the weekend. Are you surprised that things turned out the way they did for Tina and Richard? And do you think she should spin the block and give Matthew a second chance? Let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.